So it is pre-exam night in the Nuttall household and Elsa is about to start her GCSEs. So wants her favourite dinner which is black bean burgers and sweet potato fries. So again, an easy dish. A bit of prep beforehand though, you need to boil a, boil a, a beetroot. So put a beetroot on to boil, quartered peeled and let it boil for about an hour but other than that easy peasy so the first thing to do is get the sweet potatoes chopped into chips and get them on to roast sweet potato don't need many leave the skins on make sure they're washed cut them into fry sized pieces which are kind of like that some of these thinner ones don't have to have the peel on okay so little lug of oil in a hot pan throw them all in here it sizzle because it's hot don't burn yourself toss them around in there get them a little bit coated What we'll also get going in there are these big portobello mushrooms and a red pepper. Put them in. A little bit of garlic in the mushies. And then a little bit of seasoning. There. Sprinkle the salt, always sparing with the salt. Stick them all in the oven, 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. Now on to the burger mix. Okay, so a bit of oil in a pan, onions, it's finely chopped as you can do. That's one whole onion. A palm of cumin. Another teaspoon of turmeric. Look at that lovely colour. Now we're going to grate Greater beetroot. Hunter, your hands. You don't want to grate your finger away. Chop up the bit that's left. Look at that lovely. Making the mix for the burgers is easy. Chuck it all in the pan, mix it all together, squidge it all up with your hands. Beetroot, one beetroot, grated. Rice, this is leftover rice. So we put in about a cupful, a bit less, the black beans. Now it's in juice, so you don't want to you want to get rid of as much of the juice as you can because it'll just make the burg it'll make them soggy otherwise. One beetroot, half a cup of s rice. You want to put in probably about a tin's worth of black beans. The onions. So the on onions are hot, so mix them in with the beans to start with before you mush up. Okay, so what you can also do at this point is maybe just spice it up just a little bit. That's just, you know, chili paste in a tube. Don't want too much. It's not a, it's not a hot, hot dish, but you want it to have a little bit of flavour. Okay, now what you do, roll the sleeves up and squelch till it's all, see it's, there's a mush. See 
so that's much stiffer, so it's holding its shape. And also will cool it a little bit now. Ideally, I mean, if you were super prepared, you'd have made these earlier and you'd be, they'd be sitting in the fridge because when they're, when they're cold, they hold their shape much more. But at the moment, that's good. Okay, so what we'll do now, we'll make the patties. So just put a little bit of flour on a plate, just so it doesn't stick. And then just take up however much you feel you want to, big you want to make them. Make them into a patty. Just put them on the plate. Three of us, three patties. It's a bit of mix left over, but that as we can always do, is good for something that we'll use. So what I'm going to do now is stick these while everything else is cooking in the fridge because as they cool down, they just, they, they, you know, they bind together a bit more. Okay, so no one's going to get away without their portion of cruciferous veg this evening. Broccoli again. Unfortunately, everyone loves broccoli. If it's cooked right, why wouldn't you? And it's soggy and horrid. It's yuck. Remember, do all of it. Stalk. In there. Put it in the steamer. Four minutes. So before we put the burgers in we want to make sure it's hot. Okay so hot oil, spreading the oil around. Burger patties, cold from the fridge. Well, ideally as long as you can do them. Let me put them in and just give them a little spin so that they get them cooking. Hear them sizzling? Leave them. We're going to just rattle up while we're waiting. That's a salad. So as usual, soy sauce, side of vinegar, a little bit of oil, lemon, maple syrup and juice from capers. So this evening we've got one plastic, one wood. That's apparently what they're doing in Monaco this year. Okay, so it's a little salad. They're done, so I've mistimed it a little bit. What I've done, I'll turn the heat off and leave them on to just stay warm. We're going to check our roasters. There. Looking lovely. All of those are cooked, so we can leave them on, turn the heat off. And now we've just got to wait for these to cook. So in the meantime, have a little tidy up of your cooking area. And then a little turn. That's quite a good utensil to do it with. A fish palette. Need super long, and three or four minutes aside, you know. So basically, it's just to heat them through, and just to seal the outside so that they get a get a nice coat. Okay, so assembly. Just do one because you know. Watch me do three. The patty. You can use a bit of bread on this, but we sort of prefer it without. To be honest, you can put a you know make a bun, or you can have a slice of toasted wholemeal or a slice of toasted rye. So bun, a bit of toasted red pepper, sweet potato fries, and the broccoli. And there you have it, burger and fries. Mm.